what it's up. I thought we could just do a sit down and chit chat and just talk and show you guys what I bought. So let's get to it. So I went to the Goodwill and I bought this baby. I believe they were having like a half off sale. So I got this one, which is like one of the ones that I was looking forward to. And this is how my hair ended up turning out. It's not exactly what I wanted, but you know, it looks better than just being like straight up crazy. Because my hair is very, very frizzy, like super frizzy. So I've been having like, I can't use a straightener because when I use a straightener later on, it goes away. But with using this, I could literally have my hair like two to three days and it would still look not that freaking bad. As if when I would just straighten my hair, like literally less than three hours, especially with this heat. my And it's so hot, I sweat and my hair just goes poof. So it's like, this is okay to be, you know. Let me just say, I got these cute shoes at the Goodwill. Now, they're almost completely new. They do have like a little stain here. But I believe I got them for, oh shoot, they took away the price. Great. I am just going to get some Mod Podge and like probably like apply some here because it is peeling just a bit. I mean, you could hardly even notice because of the print. But I got these. I thought this was cute for like a date night. Although like we're in quarantine. So I don't know. I just thought these are cute. These were from Charlotte Ruse and they look really brand new. So I got them. These were like $12 and they're like, I don't even know if they're going to fit me to be honest. They're seven and a half. They look hella small. They look really small. So hopefully they are actually seven and a half. But they're like these really long ones. I don't really use open toes at all. I don't feel comfortable but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a petty done or even just do it on myself and see how it looks if I like it I'll keep them if not then I'll just give them away again then I went ahead and got something spicy bam some red freaking booties these are like almost completely again they're not in bad conditions these were for 10 bucks and these are a size seven and a half as well I believe these are the oh they're from Steve Madden oh for ten bucks I mean that's actually a pretty good deal and then the last pair that I got is something that I wanted to kind of like I don't know something different again I guess got some other booties and these are twelve bucks and these are a seven but these look hella big for a seven and these are a seven and a half so it's like I don't know I'm usually a seven and a half to eight. So we'll see if these fit. If not, I mean, I guess I'll just, it is what it is. But I love, honestly, fall. Fall and winter are like my two favorite seasons. I don't like summer. I honestly dislike the heat so much. But I bought this like jade minty jacket. And it's like such a cute color. Like you could take off the hoodie if you don't want it. But like I'm okay with it. And this one's from... Jones, New York. There's actually a lot of clothes that I ended up getting at a thrift store just because they're open and I was like, let me go see what I could find. So I have it all in my laundry basket, which I'm going to wash because I am not trying it on, not knowing where they come from or what they're doing on their treatment center. You know, I leave them in my car for about three days before I touch them. Then when I touch them, I go ahead and sanitize it with the um, with this baby right over here. And literally, I wait the next day and then I take them out of my car. So basically, they're in my car for about four days. And then I grab onto them just because I don't know how, one, the thrift store is doing on sanitizing their stuff. And I always prefer being safe than sorry. So I'm being safe. Moving on to Target. Now for Target, I went ahead and I bought some few things from different companies. I went ahead and buy these from the company Ray. Now, I know that TikTok, and I was looking at the liquid drops earlier before this whole thing exploded with TikTok and some girl using them. They're like, whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this brand. This is Ray. I bought their daily cleanse and their beauty one. So, I've been using Tati's beauty for the couple of months. Like, ooh, when she first came out, I was a supporter and they supported her and I bought like six bottles. But honestly, the price is just kind of a little bit out of my range now for the moment. So I wanted to look for another company that's, you know, that's kind of like self-made. Kind of the healthier side that I want to see if it's going to grow my hair, my nails. Because Tati's products, don't get me wrong, they're up there in price. But they are really freaking like amazing products. You see results. I would actually use it a lot and my hair would grow like really good. 
Then I went ahead and got him this one, I swear. I'm actually thinking of switching onto these or just finding a feminine one because honestly, those little spray ones for the women that gush out aren't something that I like. But, oh, you know what? I think I got him the wrong one. Shoot, I think I got the wrong one. He bought one. Oh, shoot, I don't know if it's this one. Ah, I think I got him the wrong one. Then I went ahead and bought this toothpaste. Now, honestly, I hate using Colgate. I hate using Crest. I hate using all of those. And I'm currently using them, but I'm not a big fan of them. Just because I don't like the feeling of them afterwards. I don't know if it's just a me thing. But I'm going to go ahead and try this one. I actually used to use the Lush one, but they take so long to shift. And right now the stores of the malls are closed. So we're going to go ahead and try this one. I bought Babe the yellow one. I bought him the hemp one and he said he didn't like it as much. So then I went again and I bought him the turmeric one and he says he likes it a lot. But I went to Target and they didn't have the turmeric. So I got this one, which is the original one that he had earlier. And he likes this one. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. Then I went ahead and I bought these. I feel like this is an unnecessary buy just because, for starters, um, yes, it's Starbucks related and I love Starbucks. Don't get me wrong, who doesn't? But I mean, they're eight cans for half pots. So what I do, I mean, I don't... Oh, what I do is that I don't even use a full pot to begin with. So I only use half of it. I just pour them, open them, pour them into like a container. And just scoop from there sometimes. Then they were having a special on these. So I went ahead and I got... I think I only got three of them. Yes. I went ahead and I bought three of them. These are the... Let's see. This one is the French Roast. Then I got the Pike Place, which is the original one. And the Colombian, which is actually one of my favorite ones. Then my mom actually... She isn't a big fan of the Starbucks one. So that's why I buy these for me. But she likes the Dunkin' ones, which is kind of weird. So I went ahead and I bought her the original one and the Colombian one. Which, again, Colombian coffee is actually one of my favorite ones. So I want to try it out. Let's see what it is. And I think... Oh, yes. And I got him this one. I don't know if he uses this one or not. But, I mean, that's it. I didn't really buy that much stuff at Target. It was just, like, here and there grabbing some few stuff. But, anyways, you guys, this is just basically all I want to go buy for. I hope you guys enjoy this little quick video. And let me know, how much do you guys usually spend at Target? Because every time I go to Target, I literally spend like about 80 bucks. It's just freaking ridiculous. Like, I feel like I only buy like five items and they're like 80 bucks, 100 bucks. And it's like, Arr. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, you guys. We have already hit 1,050. Let's go ahead and get that 2K subscribe. You guys, I read all your comments and all your feedback upon the video that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and just get more in depth into my skincare to show you guys what I'm doing. And I'm so excited that I did an order to see if I could find some products to remove my acne scarring because that's pretty much all I have left acne scarring and right now i have makeup because it's my day off and i want to glam up you know what i like i like being plain jane but i mean at the same time plain jane needs to get her looks together